Namaskar. Namaste. Good morning. Yoga. Let's get centered for the practice. Yoginis, place your left hand on top or by Ravi Mudra. Yogins, right hand on top or by Rava. Turn gaze within. Cultivating the attitude of the aspirant, seeking the highest good. To elevate mind and energy, place the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Slide it back so the underside of the tongue lightly presses up on the soft palate. Make an energetic connection from root chakra through the crown. Take a full deep breath in. Draw energy up the back body. Exhale, divide the breath into thirds. Release one third and pause for a second or two. Two thirds and pause. Take a full rest away. Let's complete in reverse. Keep it going for the next minute. Drawing energy up the back body. At the inhale, exhale, ladder breath down, pausing intermittently with the out breath. So release the tongue. Take a full deep breath in. Hold it in for a count of 20. Jaw and Dara, throat lock, chin to the chest. Choose the energy that you build to the practice for self-generation and transformation on all levels. While building more awareness of the midline, the center of your being. You're calm, peaceful, and tranquil. Add our hearts and info blessings. Three ohms, one point of mantra. Take a full deep breath in. Shishate Om Shanti 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 To the presence of the one divine spirit that dwells within, we bow.
distance apart at the front of that. Tadasana. Firmly rooting. Midline, squeeze into the center. Belly in, scoop tailbone. Really got to come all the way up front. Shoulders up and back, lifting hard up. Take a full deep breath in. Exhale, release hands, rooting down. Inhale, stretch up. I'm celebrating the freedom, power of the day. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen and curl, reaching through the crown of the head. Exhale, step back into plank. Hold plank. Spread fingers wide. Lean forward, belly up and in, scoop the tailbone under. And slow motion, lower all the way down to the belly. Clasp hands behind the back. Squeeze arms in, upper back in, arch up and lift. Back to the tops of the feet. Hands beside the chest, underneath your elbows. Side body's long, lift shoulders up towards the ears. Keep them lifting as you curl all the way up for a high cobra. And you reach the peak, pull hands back, shoulders back, extending spine forward, heart forward and up. And then lower down, push back, Adamuka Shwana, downward facing dog. First dog of the blue galactic storm day. Stretch it out. Bend one knee at a time, work me through calf muscles. Right leg up to the ceiling, bend the knee and twist, stretch out side body, put more weight into your left hand, keeping upper back level as you twist from the lower body, and then switch on, switch legs, take opposite leg up and over, more weight into the right hand, keep right arm and shoulder lifting, looking for the foot underneath your armpit. Down dog, lean forward in a plank, push head up, index knuckles down, exhale chaturanga, inhale rise up, braha cobra, pausing at the peak, curling shoulders back, and then slow back, then arasana two, right foot up to the front of the mat for a deep lunge. Right foot to the front of the mat, point foot out to the right, reach your hands in front of you on the floor, in fingertip or ridge top position, two position bro, reach your hands here, reach your hands all the way in front of you, in front of your mat, bend your elbows up, push your head up, and then sink into it, lowering your chest down, there you go, keep your back leg straight and strong, feel free to work ridge top, fingertips or fists, step back into plank pose, take a vinyasa, back, second side, left foot up, front of the mat, point it out to the left, reach your hands in front of you, way in front, so you can lengthen side bodies, lifting rib cage up, shoulders up, just like in cobra pose, and then curl shoulders back, lowering chest down, hold the engagement in the back body, keeping shoulder blades squeezing together, firing the rhomboid muscles, Step back, take a vinyasa. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, ascend, pausing at the peak. Exhale, flow back. Five deep breaths. Cultivate the midpoint of the breath. Full inhales, full exhales, while consciously lengthening the space between the breaths. Bend knees, gaze up, step or jump, front of the mat, inhale, lengthen, exhale, bow, midline, root down, inhale, rise up, exhale, samastiti, pausing, and snag your block, place the block four inches between the inner thighs. Squeeze into the block. Oh, that's it. Eh, use this one's better. 
roll your thighs in, sitting bones back and apart. Keep your tops of your thigh bones pushing back, and then draw your belly in. Scoop your tailbone and squeeze into the block with more power in the legs. Deep breath in. Exhale, root down. Inhale, stretch up. Keep squeezing in strong, diving forward, rolling thigh bones in and back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Don't drop your block or you got to start over. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up for a high cobra or up dog. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Flow back, down dog. Hold it. Keep squeezing into the block. Rolling thigh bones in and back, pushing back strong into the hamstrings. You can turn the block on the side. <laughs> you're, you're, you're in a different category. Is your, are your hands slipping? Let me get you a towel. Bend the knees. Step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Crush the block. Inhale, rise up. Use the strength of the inner thighs to bring the upper body up. Exhale, dive forward. Keep it going. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Flow through. One more. Bend knees. Step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Good line. Root down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Take the vinyasa. Slow back. Take down dog into a twist. Reach your right hand back to the outside of the left leg. You can walk your feet or your hands in if you need to. Push strong from the top of the shoulder out through the hand. Switch arms, switch legs. Down dog, turbo dog. Bend elbows, squeeze in with your arms, pushing index knuckles down in slow motion, curling the upper back and slide through. Take a vinyasa. Good morning. Slow back. Take your block out, place at the top right hand corner of the mat. Step your right foot up to the front of the mat where your right hand is for side angle pose. Parsva Kon Asana. You can use the block if you need it, reaching left arm straight ahead for the front of the room. So keep right knee bending deep, right thigh parallel, right knee pushing towards your right arm, so the outer edge of the knee is aligned with outer edge of the foot. That right knee, Nina, push it towards your arm. There you go. <laughs> top arm behind the back, reaching for the top of the thigh. Push down through both feet, lift and reach, right arm straight ahead for half warrior side angle. Strengthen core, keep belly drawing in. Lower back neutral, resisting the arch in the lower back. Strengthen core. Two more strong breaths. Exhale, release. Step back. Vinyasa. Second side. Parsva Kone Asana. Left foot up. Back to flat. Belly in, scoop tailbone, right arm reaches. Top arm behind the back. Push down through both feet. Lift and reach, left arm straight ahead. Holding Udiana, keep navel drawing in, lower abdomen firm. Releasing palate. Muscles of the face. One more strong breath. Exhale, release, step back, flow through. Great leg lifts behind you. Lean forward in a plank. Do a push up halfway down. Push back strong. Right foot up, warrior one pose. Snag your block, going eight inches wide. 
No fingers, palms only. Back heel up, both arms reach. Draw arms into the shoulder sockets. Slide jawbone back. Take it all the way back behind the ears. Squeeze in, arms straight and strong. Pull arms down the back and then take your gaze up, looking towards the block. Don't let your elbows bend. Squeeze in. Squeezing in strong with your thumb and index knuckle. More strong breath. Exhale, release, step back, take a vinyasa. When you use the blocks, you go like this because you're wider. Left leg lifts. Lean forward in a plank. Triyanga, halfway down. Push back strong. Left foot up. Fear Bhadra with the block. Eight inches or 12 inches. Draw in. Slide back. Take it all the way back. Squeeze into the center. Keep arms squeezing in. Pulling down the back. Keeping straight and strong. The more you squeeze in, the more strength and stability you create for the rotator cuff muscles. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. Vinyasa. Great leg lifts again, plank pose, Trianga halfway, push back strong, step it up, Virabhadra. Choose your distance on this one. You can go 12 inches, 8 inches, 4 inches, or 2 and a half. The more narrow you go, the harder it is. Draw in, slide back, take it all the way back overhead. No fingers, palms only, squeeze in. Or you squeeze in, it creates a synergistic engagement of root chakra, creating an uprising of energy. Deep breath in, exhale, release, step back, flow through. One more strong vinyasa, left leg lifts. Plank, Trianga, push back strong, step it up, set your blockage, choose your distance, draw into the center, draw into the core, and slide back, take it all the way back, keeping your right thigh lifting, bend left knee deep, left thigh parallel, crush your block, squeeze in strong. Breath in, exhale, release, flow through, vinyasa. Vasi stasana on the right, sidearm balance pose. Rock onto your right hand and the outer edge of your right foot. You can come onto your forearm if you need to take pressure off the wrist. Or take your right hand more forward. Optional left foot up in the tree or reaching for the big toe. Stay present with the breath. No matter how far you take the outer form, without being present to the inner form. Step it back, wild thing, Kamakara. Switch sides, Vasi Stasana to the left when you're ready. Take your time, stay with the breath. Keep it full and deep. All asana is designed to stimulate the breath, to build more life force energy. Bring the foot up if you're going further. And then step it back. Down dog. Turbo dog. Vinyasa. Flow back. Right foot up and pause. Both hands to the top of the thigh. And pause in asana, energy expands, awareness expands, and then we take it further. Cross right wrist on top, palms flat, fingers straight. Bring the arms behind the ears, squeeze in, pinch your head like your head was a block, and then bend your right knee. Keep 
your arms squeezing in tight, side warrior, back foot flat, lean over your back leg, keep your right knee bending deep to the front of the room. Bow forward, clasp, right arm under, left arm behind the back. Mekapada Kundinyasana 2, work the arm balance if it's available. If not, just take a vinyasa. Back heel up, right foot slides out to the right, left leg squeezes in, row right thigh in, left heel reaches up. Put your back heel up. Lift, on, lift this up first. There you go. Now, that's it, push there. And now, lower down like you're doing a push up. You're lowering your leg onto the block. There you go. That's oh, it. Oh, oh my God, Alex, look. <laughs> Second side. Left foot up. That's it, man. You're done for the day. <laughs> Pause. Re reconnect to the breath. Draw into the center. Squeeze in. Left wrist on top. Palms flat. Fingers straight. Squeeze in, bench head, push head back, curling in upper back. Yes. Back foot flat, lean back. Just the bottom arm, pull top arm down, stretching left side body, left rib cage and shoulder lifting. Bow forward, left arm under, right arm behind the back. Lower down a little bit more. Your torso. Mm, longer fingernails. <laughs> Both hands down. Continue. Take your time, back heel up, left foot slides out, and then lower halfway down. You can also turn this up, turn like that. Get this foot up first. There it is, there it is, boom. Right foot up, side angle pose, round two. Left arm reaches. For the front of the room. Left hand to the hip, out of the heart, triangle pose. Face scoop, tailbone twist, left arm straight up. Top arm behind the back. Push down strong from the hips through the feet. Lift and reach. Right arm straight ahead for half warrior triangle pose. Don't hold the breath. Keep it full and deep. Keep thighs lifting, kneecaps lifting. Micro bend your knees. Top hand down. Step it up. Half moon pose. Art of Chandra. Hold it here, keeping both legs straight. Or you can bend the top leg for a sugar cane if you're going further. It's optional, reaching for the foot. Both hands down, standing splits. I'm gonna keep this knee softer. Optional kick to a handstand or forearm stand or vinyasa. If you're at the edge, you can use the wall. If not, too bad. Watch uh, Justin's head, Karina. 
There it is. Pretty good, pretty good. Second side, left foot up, side angle pose. Right arm reaches. You're connecting to the breath, to the center of your being. Bow forward, triangle pose, straighten left leg. Belly in, re scoop tailbone, right arm straight up. Keep your knees soft. Thighs lifting, kneecaps lifting. Right arm reaches behind your back. Push down strong from the hips through the feet. Left arm reaches. Lean forward, more weight to the leg. Keep the face soft, palate releasing. Good. Bend the knee. Left hand down. Step it up. Half moon. Optional chop if you're going for the foot. Breathe to the chest. Curling shoulder back. Both hands down. Standing split. Madamuka, Briksha, Pincha, kick up, kick back, take a vinyasa. Chaturanga. Legs wide. Whoa. Ardhamala. Shift to the right, turning left foot up. Place your hands however you need to for stability and balance. If your right foot's all the way flat and you don't need your hands, then you can wrap the right arm around the front of the shin, clasping, and then take forehead to the floor. Shift to the left. Straight down. We do, we do it straight down. Head down. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Make your point out to the side. Shift to the left. Opposite side. Back to center. Go wide. Go deep. Angle toes in, heels out. You can take feet wider apart and then walk your hands back. Forehead to the floor, forearms down or chin down. Heel toe in, crow pose, baka sana. Stand if it's available. 
or vinyasa. When you're ready, you can rest in child's pose. Boom. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You see, the harder it is, the more excitement you get when you do it. <laughs> Boom. Right. If it's easy, you don't care. When I was growing up, we'd be at Christmas parties, and my sister would go into headstand with jeans on and boots in the cold. During the middle of the party, with you know, without a warm up, and I'd be like, man, and I'd be like, want to be a yoga teacher, and like I couldn't do Lotus to save my life. <laughs> it was just like not happening. But then she didn't care, and she lost it, and she couldn't do anything. <laughs> she got fat and lazy. <laughs> if you work for it, if it's hard to do, then you get it, and you're like, you get newfound energy. Like, all right, what's next? What else can I tackle on the mat? And then you take that energy off the mat and you apply it to everything else you're doing. Take it into puppy pose. Itana shisho sana. want it, stay there. When you're ready, you can towel off. And we'll go to the wall and get upside down. Whoa. All right. This spot. Eduardo, why don't you use this spot up here? Yeah, you can use the door or right here. Oh, okay, then come here. Okay, first up, leg raises. There's space on this wall, though, if you want to use this wall. I'm kind of compressed there. You're going to measure one leg's distance. Take your hands down to that spot. When you go up, take the legs up. You're going to keep one leg straight and strong. Inhale, take it down. Exhale, take it up. If it's easy, touch one wrist, the other wrist, and then take it up. Do one leg five times or one leg ten times, and then switch. Stay on one leg. If your foot touches the wall, you can take your hands more forward a little, couple inches to give yourself more space. And you can bend the top leg a few inches when it's on the wall. It works slide a little to your left so your foot's not on the yanta. I don't want you to fall into another dimension. Thanks. <laughs> That's it. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep the foot flexed. Keep the inner thigh engaged. Keep the leg squeezing into the center. Don't let it turn out to the side. Touch that wrist. <laughs> Take your, so you say your hands want to turn in a little bit? Yeah. And this lifts, turn it down to the side a little bit like that. There you go. And then get that middle knuckle up. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so easy when you hear like the rest is on. Yeah, okay, yeah, you can touch it. No. <laughs> it's so far away. The rest. Okay, close. Nice, you got it. Can you do the next one, Camille? Do you do both legs? Do you do both legs? Do you right, left? You yes. both sides? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, check it out. Next one. You can repeat this one again if you want to. Or kick up with your hands closer, five inches closer to the wall, five to six inches. And you're going to work on pushing the top heel into the wall and then take the other leg away 
and then back up and switch. Go for it. I didn't get that. No? You, you, I'll talk you through it. Go up, okay. pick your handstand. Okay, flex one foot. One foot's going to push into the wall strong. This leg's going to flex also. Take it down as far as you can, as far as you can. Keep the leg pulling back into the hip and then point the foot and take it back up. <sighs> and then push that heel into the wall. Take the other leg away. Boom. Boom. If the hip's off the wall, you can go further away. If it's harder to do it like this, you can do it with your hips on the wall, and that'll secure you back into the handstand so you won't fall off. Makes it a little bit easier. But you can't take the leg as far down if you want to go all the way down. Five and five. If it's easy, do ten and ten. I'll spot her. It's my job. Ah, I got you. Hold on. Come back for a second. Take your hands a little wider. And like this. Boom. Okay, now kick and feel the magic. There you go. Push one leg in strong. Take the other leg away. Good. And then back up. Very good. Super. Yeah. Whoa. We're guided by timelessness. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. That was my intuition. I should have moved it. Now <laughs> it always happens. Bad teacher. You look towards your foot. Look until it comes halfway, halfway, halfway. Now look between your hands, and, oh. and take it all the way down to the wrist. <laughs> Sit. Look towards the foot, and then look between the hands. And then your head pushes up, and the foot goes all the way to your wrist. Oh, oh pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see how your head's pushing up? Relax your head, relax your head. And then after this foot leaves the ground, then push your head up. Kick hard. Oh, go again, go again. Oh, close. Mm -hmm. Forearm stand when you're ready. Or if you want to do another handstand, feel free. Yeah, she's got the, the opening. <laughs> and then that's it. There you go. Oh, you're close too. Come back a little bit. Take your hands back a little bit to here. There you go. Now go. There it is. Yeah, man. It's awesome. <laughs> Hey, everybody looks pretty comfy in your form, Stan. Let's change it up. <laughs> Do it with your block. Palm stays up. Um, when we outer rotate the hands, the arm bone outer rotates and it connects us to our back body, the origin point of the rotator cuff muscles. When you have your block, do it with your palm stays up, your pinky fingers up, shoulders lift towards the ears, and then you curl in the upper back, release your head and neck, and then take a light hop. Pushing up to the top heel to bring the bottom leg up. Keep the head and neck relaxed the whole time. Pull it there for 30 seconds or a minute, and then you can take it into scorpion. I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> Thanks. Let's change it up for today. Let's come back for a second, Alex. Let's get rid of this. Let's do it like this for now. Clasp like this with your thumbs together and your pinky fingers out. Pinky fingers out. There you go. And then you're going to rest your thumb here, your head on your thumbs, and then kick up like that. And then push down and look for your, your hands. There you go. There it is. Easy.
You can do this one too. So pinky fingers out. There you go. You come, come a little further away. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you get a feel of it like this, then the block will be a lot easier. Yeah. Okay, head down. That's your head down. Now walk it in and kick. There it is. And feet to the wall. Push down and lift. Hold it. Skanda yoga. Oh, you're so there. You're so there. <laughs> All right, one more. Take it into headstand. If you have a thin mat, you can fold your mat over. You know what? Hold on. Let's use our blocks. Use the block and let's work on walking in. When you have your block, place it so it's two inches between inner thighs. Your head's a few inches away from the wall. Walk it in. Walk it in until your hips come over the shoulders and your feet lift and then squeeze in and take it up. Work on lowering your legs halfway down. Squeeze in and back up. Flexing. Pointing. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. Magic number's ten. Walk it in. You can bend your knees at the last moment and give yourself a light hop. There you go. That's it. Just like that. That was it. That was it. Do it again. Ah, boom. <laughs> it's happening. It's going to happen. That's it. Squeeze in. There it is. Flex your feet. Take it up. Yeah. See that acceleration? You had power to spare. Welcome to the core. One more. Oh, that was all you, man. Awesome. <laughs> Start to finish up your burn. Flex those feet. Flex those toes. There you go. And yeah, heck yeah. It's the best practice to do anywhere. When you're finished, you can rest and then slide your mat back. When I first came to Miami, I like didn't have a job. I didn't have anything to do. I was just hanging out on the beach and I worked on doing 108 leg raises like every day. <laughs> That's a real job. Yeah. <laughs> Twisting thigh stretch. There's one long rest at the end. Right foot up, left knee down. Back to the foot. 
deep optional coming on to the left forearm. Time on prep, release the foot, sit back on the heel, keeping toes flexed. Use hands for support or reach left hand across. Rock forward, optional arm balance, continue to, Ekapada Vasisthasana 2, or just take a vinyasa. If you're working on Ekapada Vasisthasana, the knee traps on the outside of the arm, and then back foot flat, go into it, Adrian, you do that. Get your foot up, back foot flat, there you go, and left hand goes up, or you can do Kundinya, what Karina's is doing. Either one, or Vishwamitra, it's your practice. And then when you're ready, second side. Next time when you do that, cup it from the heel. So when you lift it, you're lifting the heel up. Second side, twisting thigh stretch, left foot up. If you're, well, that's too far. It generally should be underneath the knee. Optional forearm, if you're going deeper. Find your mind prep, release the foot, sit back on the heel. Hands for support, taking a forward pull, or reach right hand across, or elbow across. Forward, optional arm balance or vinyasa. Pigeon pose. Oh, hold on. Let's do it like this. Hold on. Come back for a second. Come back. Yeah, let's do it like this. Release for a second. Uh, let me see it. Come back like this. There you go. Let's see if you can grab. Tighter in. There you go. Oh, now we're talking. Pigeon pose, Zakapada Raja. Kapotasana. Pigeon. Right hand wide. Left leg slides in and back. Square it off. Push down through the knees. Lift the hips. Square them forward. Keep them lifting. And then work another quad stretch. Mermaid. Or strap it. Take it overhead for full. And pigeon. Please take it forward. Vinyasa, or step back and switch.
Board. So if I can flow through. Camel pose, Ustrasana. And the kneeling. Hips back and apart. Draw belly in, scoop tailbone, lift and curl, palms to the heels. Hips forward, hard up, side draw bone back. Inhale up, you can sit on a block of two, resting back or sit between the feet. You can sit in meditation for a minute or rest all the way back for Supta Virasana. Rest here, there are 10 seconds or so. We're taking it into full kapotasana. If you're working the full back bend, hands over our head, sliding in for the feet, it's optional. Cool. Vinyasa, back up. <laughs> the ground is going for it. A little delayed response here. <laughs> Hold it, Karina. Grab the edges of your mat. I don't want to do too much, I just want to do a little. <laughs> yeah. I'll help you with a little grab here. There you go. Yes. Now that's okay. it. Now punch the floor and hip sport. There you go. That's it. That's it. Now head down. There you go. Here's your foot. Here's your hair. Just so you know. Back up. Take the Vinny. You're welcome. And then come to sitting for half pitch pose. Arda Matsien Dra Sana. Left leg in, cross your right ankle over, the other right ankle, right hand behind the back, left arm up, arching, lengthening, and then twist. If it's available, you can wrap and bind. Twist and switch. This. Open up, legs wide, Upavishta Kon Asana. Good 
Sitting bones, hamstrings. And slowly fold forward. Power twist over right leg. For the foot with left hand, you can strap it. Back to center, bow forward one more time. Forward for double arm hero pose. Bend your knees up. Flip your hands. Palms face out. Wrist on the side of the rib cage, and then hook one elbow in, other elbow in. Slowly squeeze in. Switch out front of the neck. Navasana, hold on to the backs of the legs. Legs up, boat pose. Get balance. Arms parallel or straight up. If you need more support, you can use fingertips on the floor. Arda, halfway, pointing feet. Back up. Arda, halfway. Last one, back up. Last one, back down. Rest, knees to the chest, rock around a little, side to side. Feet underneath the knees. Lift hips up. Chest up. Clasp hands.
Ben. Third bit down to Rasana. Go back bend. Hands overhead. Hips up, chest up. Top of the head, curling to the back of the room. Take it all the way up. Over, take your hands wider. Oh, that was good. You okay? When you, when you punch your head, let's reach your hands like this out to the side. Yeah, like out to the side. Go ahead and lift. It'll be easier when you're when you're on your head. Go for it. Lift, lift your hips up, chest up. Use my ankles. My thumbs in front. Anyway, now go for it. Round two. Take it back up. Do some push-ups. There you go. Push. It's good for today. Yes, sir. Round three is optional from standing. If you're done with back bends, take it into shoulder stands. You got one minute. Back, do some momentum. Ah, oh, you gotta get the wrist up more. Yeah. Watch your hand. Go for it from here. Reach. There you go. Yeah. That was awesome. That's what you want. That was perfect. You see how the engagement pulled you back up? That was perfect. You want to do another? Go for it. Get those wrists up. One. Go. Two. Three. Awesome. Pop and reach. There you go. Zoom. One, two. One, two. All the way forward. Three. Good. <laughs> Cloud pose after you've been shoulder stand for a minute. Your pressure pose. Slowly unroll. Fish pose. Right leg up, Supta Padagustasana, single leg stretch. Just all the way back. Clasp hands behind the hamstrings. Kick away, resist, arching lower back, pushing shoulders down, lifting hard up, and then slowly bring the leg closer to the chest. You can reach your hands up higher or strap the foot, but don't let the leg bend. Keep kicking your foot up into your hand or your strap. Keep the thigh bone pushing away into the hamstrings. Take it to the right, your left thigh pushing down, left hip rolling down. Take it up and over into the twist. Uh, 
switch. Class resist building strength in the left leg. Bring it closer to the chest. Take it to the left. Take it up and over into the twist. Up, happy baby, reaching for the feet. Pull knees down, lean a little to the right, to the left. If you're going further, walk arms over, bring both feet to the head or behind the head. Twist to the right, both knees across. to the opposite side. Shavasana. Let yourself relax fully for a few minutes, enjoying space and freedom.
Slide overhead, swapping out the two to turn here. Roll to the right, swing ahead on the arm bone. The next one and do universal prayer. Deep breath in. Uh, glorious rest of your day.